Costa is gaining popularity as an amazing travel destination. If you are planning to go or just need a little convincing, here are top 10 places to visit and things to do. I'll also include five travel tips at the end of the video. Let's get started. Number 10. National Parks Within Costa Rica's relatively small borders, visitors can find 28 national parks, in addition to dozens of other refuges, reserves, and conservation regions. My first and everlasting impression of Costa Rica is how green and lush it is. Roughly a third of the land in Costa Rica is a park or reserve. And Costa Rica's national parks are truly stunning, from beaches to volcanoes to waterfall to rainforest, full of capuchin monkeys, hummingbirds, parrots, and many other wildlife. Costa Rica is home to 5% of the world's biodiversity, a lot for a small nation. For first-time visitors, it can be a little overwhelming to decide where to go with so many national parks. So keep on watching, and I'll give some recommendations and tips. Number 9. Volcanoes Among the national parks, the most famous one is Arano Volcano. There are currently six active and over 60 dormant or extinct volcanoes in Costa Rica, and Arano Volcano is an active volcano. It's one of the most popular attractions in Costa Rica, offering tourists a chance to hike its rugged terrain or take a dip in the soothing geothermal hot springs. Not only that, there are lots of spas and resorts in the area and tourism is very well developed. You can find many all-inclusive resorts right at the foothill of the volcano with a volcano view from your room, on-site restaurants, bars, spas, pools, and hot tubs for sure, sometimes even geothermal ones. What rivals dipping in the hot spa Getting a cold drink in the pool bar with a volcano backdrop and rainforest surrounding you? No wonder this area is so developed for tourism, and it is one of my best vacations to visit the Arino area for five days. And in terms of what's the best season to visit, I'll include travel tips at the end of the video. Number 8. Waterfalls. Costa Rica's landscape offers it all. Waterfalls and lagoons are among the most spectacular natural phenomena in Costa Rica. It will impress both leisure and hardcore travelers. Thus, it is one of the most photographed nature in this country, where everything could be a photograph masterpiece. For those who find calmness in water, it's just incredible seeing rushing water dramatically falling from a cliff through the rainforest canopy into a pool at the base. Among the hundreds of waterfalls to explore throughout the country, for leisure tourists, I recommend La Fortuna Waterfall because it's very close to Arano and if you book a day tour, it includes pickup from your hotel, so may as well combine the volcano tour in Arano and the waterfall tour in La Fortuna. La Fortuna waterfall is not only gorgeous, but provides awesome opportunities for hiking, swimming, and other outdoor activities. If you never tried water rappelling, climbing down a waterfall, then this is a great place to do so. In fact, it's actually the place to do so. I didn't try it this time, but it is absolutely on my bucket list. Number 7. Biodiverse Wildlife No other country can rival Costa Rica in terms of wildlife. It only makes up about 0.03% of the world's total land mass, 
but it has 6% of the world's species. Thanks to the fact that it is a tropical rainforest located between two continents. So it's really a rich land. Thus the name Costa Rica, rich coast. There are over 500,000 species of animals. That's half a million, including sloths, howler monkeys, hummingbirds, scarlet macaws, colorful butterflies, humpback whales, and sea turtles to meet while you are there. You can book a sloth tour or naturalist tour on a float, where you sit in a boat floating down the river and the guide will point out all kinds of animals and have binoculars since it's easy to miss on your own. So check out the tours, they are definitely worth the money. Number 6. Coffee Some of the best coffee in the world comes from Costa Rica. It's a java lover's paradise. Why is Costa Rican coffee the best? For one, it has superior growing conditions. With high altitudes, fertile volcanic soil, warm temperatures, steady rainfall, and tropical climate, Costa Rica is uniquely positioned to produce superior coffee beans with fine aroma and flavor. It also has strict control. It only produces 100% Arabica coffee beans, the only country in the world doing so. Number 5. Chocolate Right now, Costa Rica's largest export is coffee and bananas. But prior to those two, cocoa was the leading export in the country. There are still multiple thriving plantations, although not producing on a mass scale. So you are likely to find Costa Rican cocoa in craft, single-origin chocolate form with excellent quality. There are multiple chocolate tours offered around Arino and La Fortuna, during which you can see the history, walk through the cocoa fields, observe how they grow, and best of all, taste lots of chocolates. So chocolate lovers, sign up! Number 4. Food and Drinks Costa Rican cuisine has a mixed influence. Two words to summarize my experience, fresh, and variety. The rich land offers an amazing variety of fresh and delicious fruits and vegetables available year-round. Some of the most popular produce you can find include tomatoes, plantains, potatoes, beans, mangoes, pineapples, and papayas. And the capital, San Jose, has been gaining popularity as a hip city for young chefs and craft brewers. There are two things I appreciate a lot about dining in Costa Rica. First, there's no tip in dining. It's already included in the bill, making it very easy. Second, the ingredient is so fresh. The flavor comes from the ingredient itself instead of heavy add-ons and excessive cooking. It's simple and delicious. So yummy. I think that's what food should be like. Absolutely recommend it. Number 3. Hot Spring Resort and Spas Costa Rica isn't just a rugged vacation for adventure seekers, it's also the perfect place for a relaxing spa gateway. The area around Arena Volcano is especially popular for its luxurious resorts and spas that offer comfortable dips in the natural hot springs. Many of those resorts are 4 or 5 stars, and here are some examples. They are all in La Fortuna area. Among those, 
I would say the most popular one is Baldi Hot Springs, which is a three-star hotel. This place is popular among travel bloggers, and it's pretty reasonable price to stay here, $200 to $400 a night, depending on the season. And if you don't stay here, you can still choose to use their day pass with meals included and access their hot springs. Another option I highly, highly recommend is the Springs Resort and Spa, which is a five-star hotel. This estate is so big that it has its own activity club within the resort and it has 28 hot spring pools. Some of those are surrounded by rainforest. The price is also good. It can be thousands of dollars a night. But luckily, you don't have to stay here to take advantage of the amenities. The on-site club, Club Rio, also has a day package. We chose the two-day activities and all-day hot spring pass, which we got two days because it was low season. We went in the beginning of May. We could only use one day though. So next time I'll come here in low season again and plan to stay for two days to take advantage of the 28 hot springs pools. For activities, we chose river tubing and horseback riding. In the rain. Well, the downside of low season travel is you have to be flexible with weather. Luckily, the rain turned out to be perfect. It was a unique experience and for the activities, we would get wet anyways. <laughs> and we were in swimsuits the whole time, the whole day. We dipped in the hot spa right after the rain, and we found a lot of joy on the monkey slides. We found our inner child again. <laughs> <laughs> Good job! Number two, adventure activities. Costa Rica is an adventure land for the spirited. There are dozens of tour companies that specialize in river rafting, fishing, ATV driving, scuba diving, tubing, horseback riding, and you saw it, zip lining through the rainforest. A lot of them offer combo tours, so you can combine activities in a day maximizing your stay and they provide transportation from your hotel there are also plenty of places to go hiking surfing and swimming the sky adventure park zipline offers the world's longest zipline flying through the rainforest with a volcano backdrop can it be cooler the park also has hanging bridges Yes, <laughs> and the trail to walk through the rainforest. This is the Sky Bridge at the Sky Adventures Park. And on the way back from Arano to San Jose, our tour is a white water rafting trip as a way of transportation between Arano and San Jose. So the tour company picked us up, sent us to Serapiti River for rafting, We met with the other groups there, went into the level 3 rapids after a safety orientation, and paddled our way through Costa Rica's jungle scenery. Halfway, we took a break and got to try some really fresh local Costa Rican fruits. We also got an opportunity to swim in a very safe pool. 
The tour guide knows all the safe areas to try swimming, to learn swimming, and even to try cliff jumping. If you are up to it, of course. After rafting, we were served with delicious Costa Rican lunch, and then we said goodbye to the other people in the group, and a minivan dropped us off at our hotel in San Jose. This is exciting and efficient, and since it ended up being a private one, we requested a stop at a beautiful waterfall along the way. Number one, beaches. Costa Rica has more than 800 miles of pristine, beautiful shoreline on both the Pacific and Caribbean side of the country. Costa Rica is well known for gorgeous coastlines and inviting warm waters. The ocean here is home to abundant marine life and provides rich opportunities for underwater exploration. Scuba divers will enjoy visibility between 30 to 100 feet throughout snorkeling destinations in Costa Rica, while snorkelers can float atop, passing by sea turtles, manta rays, dolphins, and even whale sharks. Tamarindo is one of the most popular beaches. It's especially good for surfing and spotting sea turtles. There are many surf camps and yoga retreats. Many offer all-inclusive, including lodging, food, transportation, lessons, and activities. With various lands of your choice, 5 days, 7 days, 14 days, even a month. Not only you meet friends, but also learn or improve a sports skill that you can show off or you can truly enjoy. And if you don't surf, Plus one options are also available at reduced price. They are everything minus the lessons, so you get a hotel, food, activities, drinks, and of course, social, and a very unique travel experience. Finally, here are some travel tips before you go. Number one, Costa Rica has two seasons, white and dry. In general, the dry season is from December to late April, while the rainy season is from May to November. However, on the Caribbean coast, it's the opposite. Number two, low season is also called green season, and taking advantage of the transition months can save you a lot of money in hotels and avoid the crowds. Number three, we found success browsing and booking tours on Viator. And I highly recommend tours as a way of transportation, especially if you go outside of San Jose and explore other areas like La Fortuna and the beaches. Number four, if you just go to the resorts, no need for currency exchange, US dollars can get you everywhere, or credit cards. And if you go to rural areas, prepare cash. Number five, the most important one, relax your mind. One of the best known Costa Rica motto is Pura Vida, which means simple life. So when you are there, try to live by it like the locals. Be happy, enjoy, and have a best vacation. Close your balance. You're gonna hurt your inside. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs>